The Torah reading today is Chaye Sarah. It can be found in the Eitz Chaim on page 127, Genesis chapter 23, uh, verse 1. Uh, but before we start, I'm going to um, give a little talk. Uh, and today is uh, Chaye Sarah, and when we start reading, pay special attention to chapter 24, the marriage of Rebecca, because Jack Sasson will give a, a devar on that um, after the Torah is put away. Um, so today is Gabbai Shabbat, a day when the congregation is asked to recognize all those folks who act or have acted as first, second, and third Gabbayim at Bethel services. I wanted to give you a little history as to how Bethel has reached the system we now have. Gabai literally means collector in Hebrew and originally meant collector of taxes or charity in the synagogue. Eventually, the Gabai had other roles, assisting the rabbi, especially during the Torah service. In shul, when I was a kid, the Gabai role was often played by the shamas or a shamash or a sexton. Earlier, my father recalled the Gabai shamas as auctioneer of aliot during the high holidays, calling out, Bifil for Hamishi, how much for the fifth Aliyah, as he walked the aisles during services. For many years, Gilbert Katz, the Chrono Livracha, aka Gibby, played this role. A graduate of Duke, he was a southern boy with a strong southern accent and a tobacco auctioneer's voice. Nearly every Shabbat, he called up folks for Aliyot during the Torah service and occasionally led a service when the rabbi was not in the main sanctuary. He played this role before and after Rabbi Sager, Zichonolibracha, arrived at Bethel. I am certain that everyone who was here at the time remembers Gibby. On a Shabbat in early December 1986, folks were worried when he was not at shul. Tragically, he had passed away at home. It was immediately clear that others would have to take on at least some of Gibby's regular tasks especially calling people for aliyot. In those days, the ritual committee was led by Stan Levy, Sid Levinson, and John Sternlich. They gathered together others who volunteered to act as gabayim during services. I recall that the original folks who took this on were Stan, Sid, Rabbi Frank Fisher, Zichrono Livracha, David Rubin, Arlen Graydon, Marty Zeiger, Jack Sasson, and myself. Apologies for any omission. I know that neither David nor I had ever acted at, before as first or even second Gabayim, but like the others, our Hebrew schools, Hebrew skills were pretty good, and we set about to learn how to do things. After an informal start, Rabbi Sager suggested that a formal calendar be made so that everyone would know the date for which they were responsible. This was the first Gabay rotation. Organization became particularly important when Rabbi Sager was to go on leave for five months in early 1989. Up until that point, the rabbi had pretty much led all services and, and read the Torah. But the congregation felt it could manage without hiring a replacement rabbi, and so the role of Gabbai was expanded to include finding folks in the congregation each week who could lead a service. A number of recent Barbat mitzvah kids were called upon, and training sessions were held to develop regular service leaders. Fortunately, a young rabbi in training, Vivi Mayer, was in the community and was hired to do all the Torah reading. She also taught me how to read. The experience was a great success in my judgment, and I think it was a turning point for Bethel, the institutionalization of both the gabayim and service leader assignments. When Rabbi Sager returned in the summer of 1989, it was clear that congregational members had been performing at least some of the roles which previously the rabbi had done himself. Rabbi Sager was very much supportive of this direction, even though the quality of the services occasionally took a dip when inexperienced but motivated congregants began leading services. Eventually, this straightened out. On, on the other hand, Jeff Darby soon arose as a master Torah reader, and hopefully you all know how significant his contribution was to letting the congregation believe we could run services ourselves. 
The Gabayim became an organized group different from the ritual committee. The idea of a chief Gabai was rejected at an early stage, but Jack Sasson suggested the title Sar HaGabayim, uh, Captain of the Gabayim, and Frank Fisher took on this role around 1991. Not long after, David Rubin became the Sar and did it for many years until more recently, Bernie Fisher inherited the job. David also started making a half-year schedule of Gabai assignments, and uh, I've been doing this for the last 15 years. In the 90s, the role of the first ga Gabayim was enlarged to giving out aliyah, aliyot, lining up service leaders, and generally running the Torah service and all relevant prayers. Naturally, there were refinements over time, documents prepared with what a Gabai needs to do, how to handle a barbat mitzvah, etc. Among key folks who joined the Gabayim were Shula Bernard, Jeff and Ann Darby, Elise Goldwasser, James Tulsky, Diane Markoff, Bernie Fisher, Roger Perlstein, and Matt Diamond. We were always soliciting recommendations for new folks to join the group, offering mentoring and initial roles as second Gabai. This is how I roped Shula into coming aboard. Many folks learned to be second Gabayim, standing on the bima to announce pages, make corrections to Torah reading, and assist the folks who lifted and wrapped the Torah scrolls. Bethel's reward for having gone in this direction was our ability to hire Rabbi Gra Daniel Graber, about whom we were enthusiastic, and to permit him to spend his first year in Israel. Thanks to Jeff and our system, we were able to function as a, congre as a congregation for a full year without a rabbi. Shortly after Rabbi Graber assumed residence here, he came up with a new idea for services, the third gabai. Previously, it was the job uh, or burden of the first gabai to hand out aliyot at each service, which made it difficult for the, that person to follow the whole service. Now the third Gabai hands out the Aliot, giving the first Gabai Rolodex cards for the Aliot during the initial Torah procession. I want to point out especially how Saul Levine, Libby Vaughan, and Mary Joan Mandel have been great in this regard. The current Gabayim who agreed to be scheduled in the rotation right now are Steve Prince, Manny Spira, Isaac Price, Diane Markoff, Adam Levine, Esther Mack, Bernie Fisher, and still David Rubin and myself. I also want to point out that the leadership of the Torah reading has passed from Jeff Darby to Adam Levine. I am blown away by this generosity and commitment. Congregants taking on so many roles frees up our rabbi to par participate however he would like on Shabbat, or in today's case, to go to Israel. Uh, we can still run services. I hope the congregation is appreciative. So with that, we are ready to start the Torah service.